Six Wendigos, man. That's good. That's good numbers. D's nuts knows what I'm talking about. The What's D's nuts saying? Senior will regret that decision. And the it just is compromised. It just said that they don't. <laughs> the bikes don't turn you into them. You'll regret it. <laughs> I already regret not killing Emily, but yeah, the bite is harmless. See, the bite is harmless, <laughs> except for the part where they rip your fucking head off. There's a little harm in that. A little bit. It's good news. Yeah, well, Although, Emma, like, Emily's gonna be pissed. <laughs> what are you doing? Conceal, be all, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's wearing her concealer. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh, uh, just a Why are you saying, oh, no, no? <laughs> that's what I, when I read a lot of crazy stuff, that's exactly how I react. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a really, really bad job at concealing that. Yeah. Talking about. We've got to get the pike. Well, Mike left yeah. because Emily was going to turn into one, and he wasn't safe in there. But now uh, he's not safe. Oh, I see. Okay, so they're worried about Mike. They're right worried now. about Mike. Okay. Because he's so hot. <laughs> Who can what? blame them? Oh, Therapist office in a damn forest. <laughs> Listen to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse: actively triggering events. That lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy. The active to one, probably. Yeah. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. I mean, it's it's worse by a I slight margin, but it's worse. Huh? Yeah, it's worse. Are you left your I mean, he's a psychiatrist. You should know this. You did nothing to help. Not only is a psychiatrist, he's a he's Peter Stormare, <laughs> yeah, who is always he's always actively leading to people's death. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. No. Oh man, symbolism. Your game has gone terribly wrong, and your friends like you. Ooh, low blow. Yeah, seriously. Damn. I feel like your what, sisters. We're not. They didn't desert us. No. <laughs> Can you feel how cold your loneliness has yes. come? Yes. <laughs> Could you imagine that's like how you viewed someone Why dying <laughs> as them deserting you? Yeah. <laughs> and yet you despised him that much. All right. How would Josh react to this situation? I think I know how Josh would react to this situation. How Josh? Yeah. Oh man, I don't know. I got maybe they hurt me. Yeah, I would say that they, in his mind. Yeah. He feels like they hurt him. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry at least until you subjected them to your. Yeah. Now that you tortured them, they are no longer sorry that they like accidentally killed your sisters. <laughs> Would he still try and defend himself, or is he, or is he legitimately sorry at this point? Ooh. Yeah. Is he gonna? Is yeah. he having like a character arc right now? I don't know. He's gonna got crazy eyes. He, oh, he does have crazy <laughs> eyes. It was just a game. <laughs> that's how. I, that's when I make decisions. Same thing. Yeah. Just well, I can't be trusted to make my own decisions. <laughs> but it's a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears. Alien isolation. Oh man, that was a scary game. Last part of our playthrough of Alien Isolation going up tonight, probably? Sweet. Yeah. Everybody check it out. Check it out. Link on the page. Down there. And now check out there. previously on Until Dawn. Yes, oh please. God, God. Direct your attention to the screen right in front of you. Not so good up there right now. Watch Dawn's us gone. continue to make We're horrible totally decisions. Shit. Or make the decisions for us if you want in the chat. Type uh, them out. Yeah, yeah. Scream yes. at us as loud as you possibly can. Yes, when you see a decision that you want made, type it out. Blues clues it. Yell at the screen. We'll, we'll give a little bit of time. Yeah. Remember when that guy's head got cut off? Yeah, it, it was pretty it got chill. Cut clean off. Mike, it was pretty clean cut. No yeah. for the cable car. I've often thought about like having a steak dinner if I had a Wendigo claw that I could use to cut my steak. Steak's hard to cut it's something. Nice, yeah, it is. Down to the mine. Oh, that's when it bit her. Oh. There we go. Remember that. Is, huh? I don't remember it either. This is the safe room, M. Fuck, I can't do this. God damn it, Mike, you're so weak. The right thing. Keep an eye on her. I don't appreciate that because I feel like you're calling me weak <laughs> by association. <laughs> no, it's Mike. Mike. <laughs> okay. Well, he has a chance to make up for it now. There we go. In chapter 9, Karma! Karma. Perfect. You know what that means? 
Uh, it means what goes around comes around. Exactly. Like and what's going around here is a whole lot of death. You think we can kill... By chapter 9, do you think we can kill everyone by the end of this game? We've made a lot of good decisions Ooh. so far, I feel, so. Yeah. A spooky tunnel. I guess this is where he blew everything up, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, that's where the gas and shit was. I guess so, yeah. It looks like these were the drums that were exploding. Gotcha. Well, it doesn't look like the drums uh, took a lot of damage there. Yeah. Weird. Very weird indeed. Atmospheric, though. Spooky. Spooky environment. You're right about that. Big Resident Evil 1 mansion staircase right here. Nice. Was it this game that did a Resident Evil? No, no, that was Spooky's <clears throat> house. Spoo yep. Spoil and spooked over yeah, over here. Spoil it. Uh oh. I, I'm I'm really excited to play some more uh, Spooky's house uh, jump scares. That game was awesome. It was really cool. It was really cool. I was not expecting it to be that cool. I think I got all this stuff because this is just the uh, sanatorium again. Oh, my dog friend. Oh, that's right, yeah, and he's your friend now. Yeah, because I didn't kick him and I gave him a bone. <laughs> that's right, we learned the secret to making a friend with a dog is to not kick it and give it a bone. I just, look, look, same goes for humans, man. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Holy shit. This is the room the dog was in previously. Huh. I guess the wolves aren't here any longer. Oh, man. Why... Were they with, uh, they were with Flamethrower Guy, right? Yes. <clears throat> I believe that is the case. Okay. Why wouldn't he take his gun? Because Mike's a big dumb idiot. Alright. I don't, I really don't know why he wouldn't take his gun. Like, he just, he chose to not shoot Emily, and then he was like, Well, I'll leave my gun here, I guess. Yeah. Because Chris is a shotgun now. You can take your gun. It'll yeah. be fine. It was, like, Chris did shoot that shotgun a number of times, though. And it didn't look like he took any ammo from the, uh... I mean, whatever, this is this is like kind of going off of movie rules here, but... Right. Yeah, I guess so, just like unlimited ammo. Yeah. You give someone a shotgun. Oh, okay, well... Nice. That's a lot of ammo for that sawed-off shotgun. Yeah, holy shit. I'll take you. I'm gonna need a... What is that? Oh, a torch? A torch. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. Nice. Oh, because they don't like fire. Let's Luckily, play. I have this lighter <laughs> on me right now. Flashlight. Nice. And hell yeah. Hella bullets. Hella bullets. Nice. Ah, cool looking shotgun. That'll blast some Wendigos. That'll blast a Wendigo right in the face. Yeah. Can I take more ammo? Okay. Like, I just... It looks like I took, like, four. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, you know he's gonna use it to, like, open locks. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Comfortable place to sit here. The armrest is too high. Yeah. And the arm down here, it's it's, it's too squishy. So, <laughs> nothing is working out. I have to buy a whole new couch now. Yeah, get, get rid of this thing. What'd I say? <laughs> You're damn right. What'd I say? One. That's a good shotgun sound. Yeah, that is a good shotgun sound. You probably shouldn't be using, like, a shotgun to clear a lock off, though. No, I mean, maybe hit the lock with the end of the shotgun. Yeah, there you go. Hey, how'd you get past the locked door, is my question. <laughs> Dogs are smart. Hey, true. Smarter than they let on. He picked the lock and then reset the lock after he was through the room. <laughs> yeah. Hey. How are you... How is that attached to his pants? <laughs> Alright, it's my best friend. Alright, yeah, Let's go. Alright. Here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place. So, we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing. Why are you right explaining this to the dog? I get that you're explaining it to... Think you can handle that? Like us, but... The dog's gotta know too. Alright. The dog seems to be taking orders. Like, he seems yeah. to... Nah. He seems to get that and... Off he goes. Ooh, this is cool. Yeah, this is cool. So, was this dog not your friend like this last time? Oh, he was. Oh, okay. So the dog, the dog was still my friend. I think I, like, you, you're kind of given two chances with the dog. Oh, like, if you I kick see. it and you don't give him the bone, then he's not your friend. Oh, okay. Uh, if you if you don't kick him and don't give him the bone, then he's your friend. But if you kick him and give him the bone, then he's your friend. That makes sense. If you kick him and don't give him the bone, he will, he will fuck you up, though, <laughs> I bet. Dokey boy, calm down. 
All right. Hopefully, we can get through this area unscathed. I'm sure we will. Yeah, nothing bad's gonna happen. Yeah, like I was saying before, if I could just get is it a hot key for the stream? If I could just get a lever that starts it, like real steampunk style, that'd be awesome. That'd be the coolest thing. Yeah. I'm pretty sure all you have to do is put a lever next to something and it'll lock Yeah, if I just get a lever, yeah. right, and then put it next to the computer. Yeah, whatever it's closest to is what it'll lock. It just suction cup it to the table. <laughs> Man, I gotta find out what kind of product you're using in your hair, because, like, through all of this, <laughs> unmoved. Yeah. This hair is almost as stoic as Chris. <laughs> yeah. But not as dumb. No, not nearly as dumb. Doesn't annoy me as much as Chris. <laughs> or Chris's hair, for that matter. Yeah. Or Chris's dumb face. Oh, God. I fucking hate Chris. <laughs> so sick of him. I mean, his face is fine. I probably shouldn't say anything about his face, since it's like it's probably a real dude. <laughs> Patients first made to Blackwood Medical Facility five days ago. During this time, I've run a number of tests in both... Uh, Physiological and psychological, the results have been extraordinary. Uh, okay, so this is just them turning into Wendigos, and that's what the big cover-up is? I guess. They, like, studied them? They had scurvy, and they were, like, all uh, dispigmented, and arms and legs are getting too long, they look like spider people. All right. and they're trying to eat the staff, and there's blood on the walls. <laughs> and the sanatorium has, like, spooky chains bolted to the walls. It's a real Titicut Follies situation going on oh, in here. Jesus Christ. Well, there's the bear that was chasing you earlier. God damn. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Really? Yeah, check Did that. Did the Wendigo do that? Maybe, yeah, maybe the Wendigo loves bears. Oh no, that's the other wolf. Yeah, shit. I thought that was a bear. God damn. It looked like a bear was... Yeah, it does look like a bear. Well, I like this significantly less now. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely like a Wendigo stored in this room. Uh, yeah. These doors were built like tanks. How crazy were these? Uh, they were Wendigos. Yeah. And you know about that like, now. Are you not, yeah, like, you're not picking up this together? <laughs> you just read that note, right? <laughs> like, I kind of skimmed it, and I feel like I got the gist. <laughs> what went on here? This is nuts. I remember a lot of dorms in college looked like that, too. <laughs> I can I can click on the the hot wet. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Christ. Sickly modeled. Disgusting. Yeah, that's real gross. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, get a good look at that though. Oh. Yeah, look at those flies. God. Look at that. Oh, his guts are on the ground. I didn't even notice that part. <laughs> See, he kept the dog alive, right, and then ripped the organs out uh, while it was still aware. Yeah. That's that's great to know. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I still don't know what I hate worse, these Wendigos or Chris. Chris is the real monster, yeah, if you think about it. he is. He's the one causing me the most distress. Ah! Uh-oh. The Wendigo climbing up there. You know, I will give the game credit. Wendigo is not a monster that you, uh... You get in, in games very often. Yeah, definitely not. Although they do remind me of the monsters from the end of uh, Uncharted. Yeah, I could see that. The way they just kind of show up is yeah. similar to that, too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, just kind of at the end of the game, like, surprise. Yeah. Also, Wendigo. We were fighting a human this whole time, but also this. Yeah. <laughs> Was it a movie about Wendigos? Is this just, like, that episode of Supernatural? <laughs> but on 9mm. That would be amazing. We need, like, a guy playing ragtime piano next to this <laughs> film. Is this Buster Keaton? <laughs> I love this one. Charlie Chaplin going on here? Uh oh. Is this the one where he's a tramp? <laughs> Can't tie, I have no when to go. That's interesting. That looks like that was actually uh, shot with actors and just on, like, real film.